am absolutely wearing white on purpose, just in case anyone was wondering. I felt like the queen of Genovia. I absolutely hated it. It may have even been the dress. Hey everybody, welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Hannah. I live in New York City. I'm getting married in August and I just found my wedding dress. Last week, my maid of honor and her husband, who is also one of Ross's groomsmen, came to visit and we went on a hunt for this wedding dress. I had two days, two days to find the dress. I really wanted to find it while they were here and I did, but that resulted in me going to four different stores and trying on, I think it was over 30 dresses in two days. It was a lot of fun. It was so, so much fun. It was also a little stressful just seeing so many dresses in such a short period of time, but wouldn't redo it if I could. It was fantastic. It was a great time. My budget for my dress was a thousand dollars and this is for just the dress. So not including tax or the veil and shoes or anything like that just the dress alone. If the price tag on the dress was under $1,000, we were good to go. There are a ton of dress stores in New York City, and a lot of them are really expensive and don't even have dresses that are under $1,000, so you have to do some digging. However, I think there are a ton of great places in the city with options in that price range. I went to David's Bridal, Glamour Closet, RK Bridal and New York City Bride, and I filmed every single dress I put on. Obviously, I'm not gonna show you the one that I chose, but I am gonna show you everything else, so let's get right into it. I started at David's Bridal. I thought that would be a good place to start since they have, you know, just a ton of different styles. It's a chain store, like, there are a ton of dresses, right? So we started there, and it ended up being the place where I found the dress. So although the first dress I tried on was not the dress, it was absolutely beautiful and was definitely a top contender. I found this dress online. I thought it was gorgeous. I love the simplicity of it, little sleeves. I had a ton of those on my Pinterest board. And overall, I really liked the dress. It was a great starting point. What do you think? <laughs> Let me start. This is pretty beauty. <laughs> Here's the second dress. It's not bad, but yeah, I just don't really have anything to say about it. It was fine. I like the amount of poof. Mm -hmm. I like that it's not super poofy, but yeah. it's good. Mm -hmm. I like the sparkle. The sparkle? Yeah. So you don't actually get to see the third dress because it was the dress. The third dress that I tried on was it. But I don't regret continuing to try on 20 something dresses after that because I think it just really solidified that that was the dress for me. Also, I should say that the dress that I chose did go a little over the budget. David's bridal was having a Valentine's Day sale. This dress was originally, maybe I shouldn't say, I don't want you guys to go find it. Nah, it's fine. It was $1,300 and it was on sale for $1,039. The next dress actually really, really surprised me. I kind of loved it. And it was a mermaid style dress. And I was so convinced that I was not going to look good in a mermaid dress, but it was beautiful. It surpassed my expectations. I guess I'm not even completely against fitted. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I like how much it goes in here. Or maybe if it like cut off the higher or something. Is that what you I feel like I got really lucky that I made it to five dresses before I was like, ew, this thing is hideous. Get it off me. But this happened on dress number five. It just it wasn't doing anything for me. So after that, that being a pretty great appointment, we headed up to Glamour Closet in Good Spirits. Glamour Closet is in Midtown and it's, they have like sample dresses that have been used to try on in other stores. You know, like the dresses that you actually try on in the store before they order yours. 
they have those. So they had some like really expensive designer dresses for really good prices just because they had been a sample dress before. Glamour Closet is walk-ins only and we were really pleased when we got there that we were the only ones there. We could be seen right away. It was a Thursday. So I highly recommend going during the week if you can because it was Saturday when I went back to David's bridal to confirm that my dress was the dress and it was packed that day after on Thursday and Friday, all of the places we went were relatively empty. So anyway, I walked in and they gave me these like orange pin thingies and told me to walk around and look at all the dresses they had and pick out six and clip the pin to it. Then they took them to the dressing room for me to try on. The first dress at Glamour Closet wasn't really notable. It was fine. It, yeah, it was just fine. We didn't love it, didn't hate it. So you don't like it? I don't think I do. Or maybe it's just because it's too small. It doesn't do anything. This dress was okay. I thought it was a pretty dress, but the top was kind of weird. And like, yes, in this footage, it's not doing anything for my shape, but I feel like if I had shapewear on under it, it would look nice. The back was also really pretty, but we didn't button it all the way because we just knew it wasn't it. We really loved the top on this next dress. It was flattering, it was gorgeous, but the whole dress itself was just like, it was a little too much for me. I think it was at this point that I decided that maybe I didn't really want a big poofy ball gown. But also if you try on ball gowns, a lot of the time they can take the crinoline and stuff out and make it less poofy. So we didn't write off trying them entirely. Here Marissa is holding the straps back for me because they didn't pin them super well. So she's given a little extra support. So that's why I'm holding the camera. This next dress I put on was way, way, way too big on me. And they told me that alterations would cost about as much as the dress itself. And it was also just fine. Next dress again, just fine. Didn't love it, didn't hate it. Yeah. That's cool, I like that. I like the tool. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I need to talk about this dress a little bit. I saw it hanging on the rack and I was like, I wanna try on a dress with a sleeve. This looks like a cool dress. And then in person, Marissa and I were surprised that we really, really liked it a lot. But looking back at the video, I'm like, what were we thinking? thinking. It looks like a toga. <laughs> so at this point we were done dress shopping for the day and I had a much clearer idea of what I was looking for. I knew that I didn't want a super poofy ball gown and I knew that if I were to get a fitted dress, I would want it to have a lot of structure to it and really suck me in. I knew that I liked the sleeves. We decided that we liked that kind of deep V like on that one poofy dress. Um, you know, it was just, I didn't have like a firm idea, but I was more clear on what was gonna look good on me. So at this point, we took the evening off. We went and saw Chicago on Broadway, got some dinner at Refinery Rooftop. It was a great evening. And then the next day, we were all set to go for a 12.30 appointment at RK Bridal. My experience here was weird. I, I had really high expectations for this place. And I don't know, I just felt kind of let down by it. It wasn't awful, but okay. There was a $25 booking fee to book an appointment at this place, which was annoying, but okay. If they were gonna have my dress there, I was gonna do it. And they appeared online to have a lot in my budget. Also a part of that $25 booking fee is this ridiculous t-shirt that I will never ever wear, ever. Do any of you guys want this? <laughs> if you want this, let me know in the comments. I'll mail it to you. So we get there and we go in and I'm talking to the consultant about what I'm looking for in a dress and what my budget is. And she's like, is that your max budget? I was like, yeah, kinda. She's like, like, like the top, top of your budget. And I was like, yeah. And she's like, well, we don't really have anything like that. And I'm like, well, it looks like on your website you do. So I don't know. It just, 
set me off on a weird note. I felt like shy and insecure about my budget being low, which is just absurd to me that a thousand dollars for a dress that you're gonna wear for one day is considered a low budget in a lot of these places, but okay, all right, fine. So she finds me some dresses. Uh, I go out and find some dresses myself. There were actually plenty of dresses in my price range. So I don't know why she needed to make me feel bad about it, but okay. But then at that point, it got really nice. I actually ended up really liking the consultant. We had some good banter going on. She was very complimentary of how I looked in all these dresses and it ended up being a nice appointment from that point on. But just that initial awkwardness going into it kind of set a weird tone. So the first dress I tried on was pretty. We really liked it. We ended up writing down the style number and taking it with us when we left. It had that nice deep V cut neckline that we liked. Pretty dress. I didn't love the pattern of the lace on it, but good start here. The next dress was pretty. Also, it was just too big. Those straps hanging like that, it's not supposed to be that way. <laughs> They're just supposed to be regular spaghetti straps. But this one looked a lot like the first dress I tried on at David's that had the sleeves. And I just liked that one better. Yeah, that's really pretty. This dress was so not notable to me that I forgot to even say anything about it when I was actually filming the sit down portion of this video. And you can tell it wasn't very notable to Marissa and Justin either because they are discussing the last two dresses. You don't like this? No, the problem is, because we were discussing it before, that now me and Justin have different opinions. I like the last one better than the first one. He likes the first one better than the last one. And today's gonna get confusing. Ooh, yeah, I'm gonna have to be looking at those videos. I really like the cut. Of this? Yes. I yeah. do too. I think that's pretty. The next dress was a top contender. It may have even been the dress if the dress that I picked didn't exist. We loved it. It was beautiful. It did great things for my waist. But the main thing with that one was just, although I felt beautiful in it and it was a beautiful dress, there wasn't really anything special or distinct about it. And it just, it left me wanting something more, but it was a beautiful dress. Also, I just feel the need to point out to you guys real quick that I was not always aware that videos, but particularly the photos, were being taken. I was not posing, and therefore my faces in a lot of these photos are absurd. I'm sorry. The next one was fine. You know, it was just, it was another satin dress with a full skirt, and that very first dress I tried on was better than this one. <laughs> The next dress was pretty, but nothing special. I literally don't even remember it. Um, but at this point, I think this was around when we were deciding that we kind of liked the nude underlay. And we're starting to decide that dresses that were really stark white were not as good for me as ones that were a little more nude or ivory. This next dress, I didn't even want to leave the fitting room in. <laughs> what was that face? Mm -mm. No. No, no, no. We thought that this one was really pretty. We really liked it and thought that it would be great for a beach wedding, but it just didn't really fit the vibe of what my wedding is gonna be. I'm gonna be getting married on a mountain with a pretty mountain view. It's kind of a, an industrial rustic looking kind of building. And this just didn't make sense. And I hated the last two dresses at this place and I'm almost embarrassed to put them in the video at all. You look like we're getting married in 2002. <laughs> The last place we went to was New York City Bride in Park Slope, Brooklyn. And our appointment was at 6.15 p.m. And we were both, I keep saying we, I mean me and Marissa, my maid of honor, 
we were just totally brain fried at this point. I The dresses started all looking the same. Also, at this point, I was pretty certain that I did want to go buy the third dress that I tried on at David's Bridal. I made an appointment there for the next day to go back and see it, and I was kind of over it and honestly probably could have skipped this appointment. The first dress was okay. The second dress was also just okay. I know that I said I like nude off-white kind of colors in the dress and I didn't want anything super stark white, but this one was almost like a gold or brown and I didn't love the color, but it was doing good things for my waist though. Waist does look good. It's like when there's a little poof, it really mm -hmm. helps. Yeah. The next dress was okay. The neckline had that deep V that we liked, but I wish it had been just a little more narrow. It was just a little too wide for me, but we really liked the color of this dress. Wow, I'm just realizing looking at this footage back how much this next dress kind of looks like the one right before it. They just weren't it. They just weren't it. I don't like this. <laughs> <laughs> This dress, I really wanted to try something with long sleeves and we saw this dress online and thought it was really beautiful and I stand by it. It's a beautiful dress for somebody else. Somebody taller than me, maybe someone thinner than me, someone a little older than me. It was kind of giving more like on my second marriage in my 40s kind of vibes, but it was a pretty dress. Yeah, I feel like this would look great if I were like middle-aged. <laughs> The next dress was pretty. I didn't like the slit and they told me that was no big deal. They could sew that up. But again, satin ball gown that wasn't as pretty as the one with the off the shoulder sleeves. This is pretty. We could ask for less punch. I don't mind it. Oh, they did put this really big veil on me though, and I felt like the queen of Genovia. The next dress was my favorite dress at this particular store. I thought it was pretty, but at this point I was positive that I just wanted to get back into the dress that I ultimately chose and bought. The next dress I barely got out of the fitting room. I absolutely hated it. <laughs> now we know why it's on the rack. <laughs> and then the final dress that I tried on was the first dress like it that I tried on. I thought it was a cool style. It was fitted, but then had like tulle over it that that poofed out a little bit more. I, I thought it was really interesting. Also, um, I'm aware that you can see my underwear through this dress. I made the mistake of wearing dark underwear that day because I'm an idiot. <laughs> they have decided to start doing construction outside of my building right now. But you know what? We just have a little bit to go, so I am going to finish this up right now, but I'm sorry if you hear any noise. Anyway, the next morning, I went back to David's Bridal. I didn't want to try on any more dresses. I just wanted back in the dress that I then knew was mine put it on. It was definitely still mine. It's beautiful. I'm obsessed with it. I can't wait to show you guys. And I just want to say that I had kind of written off David's Bridal just because it's a big chain store and there were people on the internet saying negative things about it. And I didn't think I was going to find my dress there, but I did. And I had a very positive experience. Both of the consultants that I worked with there were incredible. They made me feel at ease. No one was pressuring me to buy anything. And it was an overall really wonderful experience. So if you have a lower budget like mine, you know, don't write it off. It, it was great. I really hope you guys enjoyed seeing all of these dresses that I tried on. Let me know in the comments which ones are your favorite, even though I didn't 
get any of these. I don't know, I'm just curious, it's fun. Okay, so let me know. If this is the first time you're stumbling across my channel, hi, welcome, I'm so happy you're here. If you enjoy New York City content and vlogs, please subscribe for me. There will also be more wedding content coming up. And if you would like to see my wedding venue, click right here for that and I'll see you soon. Bye.